you know. Well, we're here today to congratulate Heather, who is finishing the 2.0 Accelerator Program. And she did amazing. Heather, I am just so proud of you. And I can see your trajectory. Um, I was just talking about you with the team recently and just saying how, like, I, I know you're going up, up, up. Like, watch out for Heather. Because <laughs> I can already see it. I can see it, how you're showing up completely differently. But that wasn't always how you felt, right? Like, when you first came to me, when you first came and decided to do 2.0, where would you say that you started from? I probably started from pretty close to rock bottom. Like, it was clear that something something needed to change or something drastic was going to happen. Um, so yeah, like I, I seem to be doing well in my business and I really enjoy my work. Um, my clients, you know, have always been really appreciative and, and that was great. And so I, that's where I felt fulfilled, mm -hmm. but where it was lacking was in my home life and, in my marriage and in relationships with family members, it just, uh, it was just not working. It was very clear that it was not working and something needed to change. And then I went from, uh, <laughs> my thought pattern was, well, this person and this person and this person needs to change. Mm. And, uh, but I know I can't change them. Right. So that's, that's their fault. And and this is happening to me. And right. why is this happening to me? And then it, it just got to a breaking point where Donna, I saw your, your posts that um, on social media, um, walking through the thought patterns and feelings of somebody in that place. And I felt really understood and heard and seen. And I identified with, with that. And I was like, and it kept happening over and over and then, yeah, and then you you connected with me and you said, hey, you've been on my mind. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to do this. I need to do this course. Yeah. And um, wow, it was it was the best, the best thing. Oh, so the awesome. Best thing. The best but thing it was an easy decision to make, was it? Like, I'm sure that it was like there was a little bit of deliberation. There was, there was yeah. definitely deliberation. Um, you know, there's like, there's the time investment, yeah. there's the financial investment, yeah. but then there's also the, I knew it was going to be, um, hard. an emotional yeah. investment. <laughs> like there's a hard work that you have to do. Yeah. And I do not like sitting in my emotions and working through them. I like, or, you know, I, I like to work through them so I get out of them. So I don't right. have to sit in that place. But <laughs> right. when you have to go through your own muck and yuckiness, you know, I don't like that. But yeah. you forced me to go through. <laughs> you were on me. No, you have to sit in this place and get it out and see what you see, what's around you so that you can, you know, identify what's holding you back right. and step out in that. And I remember one of the main, um, <laughs> I don't know, it was like an epiphany um, during one of the sessions where I suddenly realized I was sabotaging my relationships mm -hmm. with family, friends, you know, okay. um, in my marriage. And I needed to get out of the way. I needed to, to stop those thought patterns right. and change them. And um, it was actually really uh, liberating and empowering because then that meant that I, I have the power That's to do right. something about it. That's and right. as soon as I came to that realization, things started to change. Yeah. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yes. Yes. So now Heather, like, where would you say post 2.0 accelerator like where do you find yourself what would somebody who's like you know who maybe is sitting there deliberating like what should they know that they could feel like at the end of it uh if you do the 2.0 accelerator you will first of all you will get the tools so that you can work through because I mean all your problems aren't going to go away 
-hmm. you're not going to become important, a, you know, enough. this perfect person with this perfect life. Yeah. Um, it doesn't exist, right? Yes. But you're going to have the tools to help you work through anything and everything. Um, and then you also have the option for uh, support mm -hmm. uh, through inner circle and um, even one-on-ones with Donna. But once you have those tools, you, you feel like you can take on anything. That's I love and it. And <laughs> you, you just feel like a freedom. You feel a freedom to just be you, you know, instead of concentrating on doing, you know, what am I going to do? Am I going to do for others? And you're more than just what you do. Mm -hmm. You are, you are you, mm -hmm. you know, for a reason. And, and it's, it's just so freeing to let, let go of that. And then, yeah, you just, you're just, you're just flying and waiting for the next adventure. And I love it. So what right. would you say, if you had to briefly say like, how did your business and life benefit? Like what are like the results of you now having this freedom and like feeling, you know, so open and finally being in a good relationship with yourself? Um, yeah, like, like I said before, my business had always been good. Mm -hmm. I had felt that I was getting a little bit kind of bored in some of my work mm -hmm. that I was doing mm -hmm. or just feeling stagnant. Mm -hmm. Um, and now other avenues have opened up for, yeah. um, new ideas. Uh, yeah. New, new ideas and, uh, just new opportunities mm -hmm. coming, not just for doing what I usually do in my business, mm -hmm. but for doing other things. Um, it. and it's so great because like the, the box that I had put my workplace in is now just opening, yes. you know? And, uh, so I'm excited to see where that goes. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Heather, for sharing with everybody. It has been a real pleasure to have you and to just watch you grow. And I'm really looking forward to everything that's coming ahead for you, honestly. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working with you, Donna.